In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to add shaders, how to solve Optifine 1.19 as well as Forge 1.19 at the same time so you can have mods combined with shaders and better performance. So let's get started. Step number one is to click the first link in the description, which will bring you to our written tutorial on how to solve Forge. Feel free to read through it. But the main thing here is to scroll down until you find Download Forge here. We're going to click on that button and that is going to bring us to the latest file of Forge. As you can see right now, it's 1.19. But when you come over here, it might be 1.20, 1.21, maybe, who knows? Anyways, the most important thing in here is to find the installer for the version that we're downloading. In here in the left, you can find all the other versions. But in this case, we're just going to use 1.19. So go ahead and click on the installer right here, which is going to then redirect you to this website where you're going to wait five seconds. Do not click on anything. Just wait five seconds until the top right says skip. As you can see right now, it's about to say skip. There we go. Then you're going to click on that button. And then that is going to ask you where you want to download this file. And you're just going to download it in my downloads folder because then I'm going to drop it into the desktop. As you can see, once I finish downloading that file, I'm going to drag it out into the desktop. Let's just wait for that to finish. And as we can see right now, I could drop it into my desktop. Now we have Forge 1.19. It's time to download Optifine. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download Optifine, of course. In here, again, the main thing is to click on the download Optifine here button, which will redirect you to the newest version of Optifine. In this case, 1.19 is not fully out yet, but we do have a pre version. As you can see, Optifine pre Eight is out, which will allow us to add shaders and all the other stuff that Optifine will eventually do. But by the time you come here, Optifine 1.19 might be completely fully out and it might look something like this. Download for the big blue button as soon as you come over here, as soon as you come over here. Sorry, you might find the download button. Just go ahead and click on that. In the meantime, just download the preview. I'm going to download the pre eight, which is the one that we allow you to add shaders. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here again. You're not going to click anything. You're just going to wait five seconds, just like before. And we're going to click a skip here in the top right. Go ahead and click on a skip there. Then uh, it's going to open this website app. Go ahead and click download in here. That is going to ask you again where you want to download it. Go ahead and save it wherever you want. It might even start downloading automatically. I just have the option to ask me because I do like to control my downloads. Anyways, once the download starts, you're going to see here on your bottom left and go ahead and drop it into your desktop or wherever you feel safe putting your files. I'm going to drop it into the desktop in this case. Now we have Forge 1.19 and we have Optifine 1.19. Before we install those, we need to update our Java in our computer. We need to install Java 18th. We do have a written guide on that, but the main thing here again once you come over here is to click download java here go ahead and click on that button that is going to redirect you over here and we're almost done downloading stuff i know it's a lot of files but that's the way it is because any minecraft above 1.16.5 is going to require you to update your java 18th and since we're installing minecraft 1.19 forge and optifine 1.19 we're going to need a newer a newer version of java so once you're over here on this website go ahead and select java 18th and then select windows in this case we're going to download the x64 installer which is the one in the middle go ahead and click on this blue line right here that is going to ask you where you want to download it in this case is easier right it's not going to have us wait five seconds it's just going to have us download the file as you can see here in the bottom left I'm going to minimize this windows and as soon as it's finished downloading i'm going to go ahead and drop it into the desktop go ahead and drag and drop your file into the desktop now we have the installer for java 18th we have optifine 1.19 and we have forge 1.19 we could start installing java 18th but before we do that i do want to download jar fix because there is a chance that after we update java 18th our jar files do not work properly because we need to run a jar fix so go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description then click download jarfix here which is going to redirect you to the jarfix website and in here just click jarfix.exe this little blue line right here do not click this big button just this jarfix.exe line click on that and that is going to ask you where to download just save it wherever you want and then just drop it into your desktop just like i will do right now there we go and now we could close out from the browsers do not close my youtube video because you're watching this tutorial now let's get to work the first thing that we need to do in here is check what version of java we are running in our computer so go ahead and type here to search and type add or remove programs and open that up and then here we're going to search for java search this list we're going to type java and as you can see, we have Java 18th running right now. Whenever you come over here, there's a chance that you might have Java 8, you might have Java 7th or Java 17th. You don't want any other Java, just Java 18th. And I'm even gonna get rid of it so you guys can see how to install Java 18th from scratch. It's always good to just update Java, even if you have the newest Java, sometimes there's a newer version of that same Java version. Like if you have Java 18th, there might be a newer Java 18th out. So let's go ahead and update it. Now that we don't have any Java in our computer, I'm going to install Java 18th. Go ahead and double click on it. Once you double click on Java, it's going to prompt you with administrator sign and then the installation is going to start. It's going to look something like this. Just go ahead and click next, next, and then just wait for Java 18 to install. It's actually really, really fast. So let's just wait for this to finish. It should take no longer than a minute. Let's just wait for that to finish. I'm going to cut until it's already installed. Oh, actually it's already installed. I don't need to cut through it. There we go. Now we're going to click close and now we could get rid of the Java installer. Go ahead and delete the Java installer 18. And now we could run that Jarfix. Go ahead and double click on Jarfix. Double clicking on Jarfix is going to prompt you with an administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it again. And then you're going to get this little sign in here saying that Java 
Cloud Runtime Environment. And as you can see, 1.18, I mean, 18.0.1 is successfully run. That means that we already update our jar files. We need to run jar fix in order for this cops in here to be updated after we install Java, I think. So go ahead and click on OK. You could get rid of jar fix right now. And now we could start installing stuff. We're going to install Forge 1.19. So make sure that you run Minecraft 1.19 at least once in your computer. Just remember, if you haven't run Minecraft 1.19 at least once, installing Forge 1.19 might get complicated and it might not even work. So after you run Minecraft 1.19, just vanilla Minecraft, go ahead and double click on this installer right here, which is then going to install the installation for Forge 1.19. We're not running a server, so we're just going to click install client, go ahead and click OK. And that is going to be kind of fast. Just give it some time. It's Forge, OK? It's installing a modern version of Minecraft. So just give it whatever time it takes. It shouldn't be that long, actually. So let's just wait for that to finish. And after like 30 seconds, Forge has been fully installed. Go ahead and click on OK. That is going to close the installer and we could even get rid of the installer for Forge right here and this little file that is created by the installer. Now we only have Optifine left. Let's make sure that Forge was installed properly before we drop Optifine into the mod folder. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. I'm going to go ahead and open my Minecraft launcher. If you install Forge successfully, when you open Minecraft launcher, it's going to have Forge 1.19 automatically selected here in the bottom left. As you can see here in this case, Forge 1.19 is automatically selected. In case that's not coming up, just click here on installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, I have modded selected. And once I select it, it comes up right here, Forge 1.19. If that doesn't work, click on new installation and just on latest release, change it to Forge 1.19. Just scroll down in here till you find Forge 1.19. As you can see, I have it right here, release 1.19 and just name it whatever you want, just like sub, for example, and then click create here in the bottom left bottom right I'm sorry and you have your 1.19 forge file anyways once we have done that go ahead and find the forge 1.19 in here in the installations and click on this little folder right here which is then going to open a big folder with a lot of things okay so go ahead and minimize your launcher and in here we're looking for a folder called mods mods as you can see I have it right here mods folder but there is a chance that that folder doesn't come up whenever you open this big folder let's say that that folder didn't come up I'm going to get rid of it what do we do we don't have a mods folder to just right click click on new and click on folder okay then name that folder mod ODS. As you can see, now we have a mods folder. Go ahead and open that folder and drop your Optifine 1.19. I'm going to name this Optifine 1.19 so you guys don't get confused what I'm dropping in there. Optifine 1.19, go ahead and drop it in. Just drag and drop. Now we have Optifine 1.19 in our Forge installation. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game using the Forge 1.19 just so you guys can see that Minecraft with Optifine and Forge is working. Go ahead and click that you understand the risk and click on play. As you can see, we're in the Forge version of the game once the game has opened. And if we click here on options and we go to video settings, as you can see, we have all the extra versions that uh, Optifine adds. And we also have the shaders option. Option. If we want to run some shaders, let's go ahead and click on done. And let me launch a world just so you guys could see that I have shaders working. Let's go ahead and launch this world real quick. A new world. Let's go ahead and create a new world. And as you can see, once the world has loaded, we have shaders working. If we proceed, we can zoom in. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to install shaders, how to install Optifine with Forge 1.19. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, bye bye.